I'm going to do a full walkthrough ship tour on the Harmony of the Seas. I'm Jason Newquist with CruisesIt.com. Keep in mind that the Harmony of the Seas, the Oasis of the Seas, and the Allure of the Seas are all similar. However, the Harmony of the Seas has had some awesome upgrades. I have placed links to current sailings of all three ships down below the description of the video to help you plan choose a cabin or answer any questions you may have give me a call my number is down below and you can also check out our website link down below and go to cruisesit.com i'm going to start the tour off here at the back of the ship and we're going to make our way all the way to the front i'm going to start the tour off here in the activities area because it's one of my favorite places here is where you'll find the flow rider the zip line the mini golf course and the basketball court the first venue that we're going to come across is this freakishly looking undersea dwelling creature called the ultimate abyss and it's crazy because you have to walk right through its mouth i loved it i thought it was great one thing i liked about it was that it's dry you don't have to get all wet another thing i liked about it was that it's fast and when you finish the slide you end up in the boardwalk you'll see people are getting ready to go see the aqua show I loved it. We're gonna take a full tour of the boardwalk in a little bit, so definitely stay tuned for that. So the next venue that we're gonna come across is Wipeout Bar. Wipeout Bar sits right in between the two flow riders. So the Harmony of the Seas has two flow riders. One's for surfing, be careful, you don't wanna step off. <laughs> and the other one is for kneeboarding. So if you're a beginner, try the kneeboarding first. Over here to the right, you'll see people are getting in line for the zip line. This gentleman with the blue helmet just got off the zip line. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at the boardwalk. So if we look down at the boardwalk, you'll notice that there are balcony cabins. So be aware of that. But right now, take a look at me because I'm going to zip line right across the boardwalk. Now, if you've seen any of my other videos, you'll know I don't like heights too much. And if you haven't seen any of my other videos, I'll just tell you, I don't like heights. I thought it would be really cool to do it for the video, but when I was about ready to jump, I was having second thoughts and I was thinking to myself, man, I don't think I should have done this. <laughs> the attendant, he was trying to give me instructions right before I was about ready to jump because they have to instruct you on what to do and, and, and how to do it. So he was telling me to put my hand in a certain place and put my feet in a certain place right before I jump. And I couldn't understand what he was saying. My heart was racing, <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. I'm, I'm glad I did it now in retrospect, but at the time, oh man, I was regretting it. <laughs> So this is the knee flow rider that I was telling you about before. And this kid, he's actually getting a lesson. So it's really cool. You can uh, actually call in advance and uh, reserve lessons. So that way you can flow ride a little bit better. <laughs> and this young lady, she's about ready to jump. So we'll go ahead and take a look at her. So there she goes. She just jumped and she is basically just going to zip line right across the entire boardwalk. And as I told you before, take note that there are balcony cabins. Be careful when you uh, reserve a balcony cabin that you know exactly uh, where you are because you might not have an ocean view. You might be in Central Park or you might be on um, the boardwalk. <laughs> You're going to open up your cabin door and say, well, how come I'm not looking at the ocean? Why am I looking down at people on a slide? Or you know, why am I looking down at trees? <laughs> Over here is Mini Bites. This is the uh, buffet area here in the activity section. And I think it's a, a great compliment for this area because it has you know hamburgers, hot dogs, french fries. You know, it's a really great place to come and grab yourself a snack while you're uh, you know, zip lining or flow riding. Uh, you know, those kind of activities. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and head on over to the pools now. I'm going to show you the water slides in the kids area, the kids splash area to be more specific. So over here to the left, you'll see the gentleman. He's getting a frozen ice cream, one of those soft ice creams. They are complimentary. It's one of my favorite things about a cruise. And it's also one of my children's favorite things about a cruise. <laughs> here is the game area. You'll need your key card to uh, play any of those games. And we're gonna come up upon the kids' splash area. Splash Away Bay. So as we're going around Splash Away Bay, just imagine if you have small children, how much fun they're gonna have in this area. It's right next to Central Park. So if we look down here, we're gonna see the beginning of Central Park. And you'll also see that they have Central Park balcony cabins as I was saying before. But coming back to the uh, splash area, 
There are water slides. There's that bucket that dumps thousands of gallons of water throughout the day, which kids love. There's a little jacuzzi over here to warm up in case they get a little chill. Right here, they have little chairs for children, which is really cute. So parents and children can bask in the sun together. <laughs> And over here they have uh, a yellow water slide that kind of circles around a little bit. And over here, parents, there is a place for you to grab yourself a nice cool drink while you're watching your kids play. Royal Caribbean's Liberty of the Seas also has an excellent kids splash area. So check out that video. That one's also on the channel. So we're going to come up to Central Park again. I just wanted you to take a closer look because we can get a really good view of the balcony cabins. Over here in this area are the water slides. So I just wanted to give you a quick glimpse of this. We're going to come back to this area. Also remember, we are going to take a full tour of Central Park. But over here on this side, you'll see they have another jacuzzi. And they have a pool. This is the sports pool. A lot of activities happen here, like volleyball and uh, the belly flop contest. But before we head on down and see the rest of the Lido deck, I wanted to come through here because I wanted to show you the buffet area. But before we get to the buffet area, I wanted to show you this view right here because this through this glass, you can see almost the entire Lido deck. You can see the sports pool, Central Park, the kids splash area. So let's head on into the Windjammer Marketplace. As I said before, this is the buffet area of the Harmony of the Seas. When I got on the ship, I was starving. I could not wait to get to this area. And the great thing about it was, is that they have a wide variety, a great selection. So everybody can just come on in and grab the type of foods that they like. If you look at my wife's plate, you'll see that she eats more on the healthy side. And if you look at my plate, you'll see that, you know, I, not so much. You kind of see that I piled everything up and kind of just threw French fries on top. <laughs> and I ate every bit of it. It's a great buffet though, and it's a wonderful ship. But if you like the ship, make sure you give me a call. Royal Caribbean recommends the use of travel agents to book your cabins because through us, you receive a discount. You see, we're one of the largest retailers in cruises. So we book thousands of cabins for Royal Caribbean every month, and they appreciate that. So they allow us to offer you their cabins at a discounted rate. And the great thing is, is that you still receive all the promotions Royal Caribbean is offering. However, through us, you're gonna receive an exclusive agency discount. And if you've already booked with the cruise line, that's okay. Your reservation stays exactly the same with all their promotions. However, you're gonna receive an exclusive agency discount through us. It's awesome. So make sure you give us a call Either way, either way, you're going to receive the best price guaranteed and we're going to make sure that you're going to get an exclusive agency discount. Please be aware though that these rates are not posted on our website. So you must give us a call to receive the best rate guaranteed in the industry. And if by chance you do find it less somewhere else after you book with us, we will match that rate. So you truly do get the best rate guaranteed. Okay, so let's go ahead and head into the other area where we're gonna take a look at another couple of pools and the water slides. So uh, this area um, has added water slides to it. The, Oasis, the other Oasis class ships don't have them. So right in the middle, you'll see Central Park. Over here to the left is the main pool, which has two water slides over on this side. And then we'll kind of swing around here so we can see Central Park right in the middle. And then over here to the right is the beach pool. And if we come all the way over to the beach pool, you'll see that this slide has a little tube where uh, people fall into and they go round and round. We were actually having a contest to see who could go around the most times. And the gentleman that won, he was actually able to go around five times. I have no idea how I was able to do it or what techniques he was using, but he was good. I could only go around two. <laughs> but you kind of see how much fun you can start to have on this ship, uh, just doing things that you never even thought about. So over here, this is the main pool that we saw before. And um, I just kind of want to show you uh, over here where people are exiting the water slides. 
First, we're gonna have a little jacuzzi right here in the middle. So a lot of people like to sit over here in the jacuzzi, you know, look over at the water slides. Right here, you have Central Park. So from the very back of the ship, all the way up to this point, there's a lot of activities, a lot of things going on. You know, a lot of people on water slides, in the bars, at the pools, the zip line, you know, so it's an amazing ship and there's definitely plenty of things to do. That's one of the things that I liked about it. You know, I thought, I just thought it was amazing. I thought, I think it's amazing. It's amazing. You know, I just, I can't believe how excellent these cruise ships are becoming. And, you know, they're just, they're making them bigger and bigger and, you know, they're just filling them with more and more activity. So, I mean, while you're on the ship, there's plenty to do. And then I mean, we're going to check out the lower decks and take a look at even more things to do, which uh, is also going to blow your mind. So definitely stay tuned for that, you know. And so we're going to go ahead and come around the corner here. I'm going to give you one last look at Central Park. And there you're going to see the balcony cabins. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, wow, you know, these cabins, there's a lot of different types because there's cabins in the back where the boardwalk area is. There's cabins here in Central Park. There's inside cabins, there's suites. You know, there's lots of different types of cabins out there. The great thing is, is that we all know this ship inside and out. We've been in the cabins, we've toured the cabins. You know, we understand how the ship is set up. So by giving us a call, the great thing about that is, is that not only are we gonna give you that exclusive agency discounted rate, but we're also gonna walk you through everything. So that way you know that you're getting the right cabin for your family. And you know, sometimes, you know, we have customers that are getting three or four cabins. And so, you know, it gets very, very confusing. And that's what we're also here to do is we're here not to just give you a discounted rate, but we're here to help you choose the right cabin because on your own, yes, it can be daunting. So definitely give us a call. Okay, let's head on into the solarium. The solarium is an adult only area. It's at the front of the ship. All of the Oasis class ships have a solarium. So does the Quantum class. It's a great area. It has this wonderful buffet. This is a healthy buffet. So of course, yes, when my wife came in here and saw this buffet, she fell in love with it because she is a very healthy eater. We saw that from her plate. <laughs> I, of course, not so much, <laughs> but this is an excellent buffet. Um, I enjoyed this buffet myself. Um, it's great because, you know, you can sit out in the solarium, uh, you know, enjoy the jacuzzi and is what I really like about the solarium, which we're going to see in a minute, is that it sits at the front of the ship. And so, you know, while you're hanging out in, the, in that area, this buffet is just so convenient because you just stand up and it's right around the corner. So um, as we walk into the solarium, I just want you to kind of imagine yourself looking at this view, sitting at the front of the ship. Imagine you're on your way to a Caribbean island. It's freezing cold up north. <laughs> and you're just relaxing with that wonderful, beautiful Caribbean breeze just hitting you right in the face. You know, and one thing I really enjoy about going to the ports is I really like doing, I really like doing excursions. You know, I've been on so many cruises that I really like to get in to each port that I'm going to and I like to plan out what I'm gonna do. That's where I, I can spend months doing that before I go on a cruise. And so now I pretty much go on an excursion every time I go to a port of call. And that's another great thing about booking with us because not only do we give you that exclusive agency discount and help you find the right cabin, we also have our own excursions that we offer. And the great thing about our shore excursions is that they're cheaper and there are less people. The great thing about it is though, is that when you book through us, we're gonna send you a link. You're still gonna do your online check-in via the Cruise Lines website. So you can book their excursions or you can book ours. It just gives you more options to choose from. And that's what's really important about a vacation, having more options and paying less money. So if we look straight ahead, you're gonna see uh, Atlantis. That's a pretty famous hotel. I was here just a couple of weeks ago also on the Anthem of the Seas by Royal Caribbean. I have a video of that one on the channel as well. Check that out because I take a ride on North Star which raises you up 300 feet in the air. 
So now we're gonna go ahead and jump in this elevator and head on down to the lower decks. We're right by the Windjammer Marketplace. So this is a tour in itself because right here is Central Park. And then right there is the Boardwalk. Over here is the Royal Promenade. And we're gonna tour all of them. Here is the casino. So we're gonna head on out right here and take a look at the main dining room. So we're on deck three. We're gonna go into American Icon Grill. So just be aware that the main dining room consists of three decks. Each has a different name. It's on deck three, deck four, and deck five. So depending on where you're located on the ship, where your cabin is, will depend on which deck that you're gonna be dining in. And you'll know which dining room that you'll be dining in because it will be displayed on your key card with your dining time. You have three dining times that you can choose from. There is a 5.30 dining, then there's an eight o'clock dining time, and then there's my time dining. With my time dining, you can go in whenever you like, usually between the hours of six and 9.30. So when you call us to make your reservation and book your cabin, we will make the dining reservations for you. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go on up to deck four. Keep in mind that we're gonna be on deck four at the back of the ship and we're gonna head all the way to the front. So this is Izumi Abachi Grill. This is the uh, sushi place or you can come in and order a meal and they will cook it right in front of you, which a lot of people like. That's one of my kids' favorite. They love that. So we always reserve those dining stations so that we can watch the guy uh, make the food in front of us. But my wife and I, we always like to come over here and you know get some sushi at the sushi bar. Um, it's excellent sushi. Most of the people are from Japan. Uh, the chef was. So uh, you know that's you know it's it's legitimate sushi. So this right here is Grande. This is, uh, like I said, part of the main dining room. So you'll see that as we have come up a deck, it's still the same restaurant, but the name has changed. So for example, if you're gonna be dining in this one, it will say Grande on your key card and then it will have the time that you've chosen. So this is Casino Royale. This is where you want to be very, very careful because here you're either going to get a free vacation <laughs> or you're going to pay double or you can just have a lot of fun. So the way I like to have fun in these places and not lose too much money is I just stick to, I just stick to poker. I just play the Texas Hold'em, which they have awesome tournaments if you like Texas Hold'em or they'll have uh, cash games, but they also have, you know, blackjack, craps, you know, they have the slots. Yeah, pretty much, you know, it's a full casino, um, but they don't operate when they're at port. So it's only when they're out at sea. So just so you're aware of that. Okay, let's go ahead and turn around and head out the other side of the casino and check out some of the other entertainment venues. So as we're walking through this corridor, just uh, be aware that these are works of art and they are for sale. So they'll have art shows where you can bid on them, buy them, and take them home with you. <laughs> so as we walk out this corridor, the first venue that we're going to come up to is Studio B. Studio B is the ice skating rink. Now, you can come here and ice skate. They do have special times set aside, so check the activities guide to uh, you know see when those times are available. But they also have awesome shows, professional skaters. I thought this lady was gonna hit her head. <laughs> but they received a standing ovation, and I myself was also standing because I just thought it was great. So one thing that you'll notice on you know the Oasis class ships is that they have excellent entertainment. If you read reviews about their entertainment, it is wonderful. So they do keep you entertained while you're down here on the ship at nighttime as well. Okay, let's take a look at the attic. This is the nightclub. So if you want to come in and get your groove on at nighttime, this is the perfect place. Also, you'll be able to come in here and watch some of the comedy shows, or they might have private events in here as well. So uh, just be aware that when you come here, sometimes you know it may not be open, or 
you know, it may there may be a comedian, you know, making everybody laugh and not necessarily everybody dancing and getting their groove on, you know, 24/7. But right across here is uh, the jazz club, which is a little opposite of the nightclub, which is right across the way. So over here, you'll see uh, people relaxing, listening to jazz music. You know, it's just a question of, you know, what you know one likes more. You know, do they like you like to get your groove on, or you want to come here and just relax and listen to some jazz? You know, so that's one thing that's really cool about this ship is that. You know, there are plenty of options for basically everyone. And that's, you know, a lot of times that's just cruises in general. You know, everyone's able to find out what they like to do on the ship because they just offer so many, you know, different activities. So this right here is the theater. And uh, you can watch shows like uh, Greece and uh, Columbus. You know, it's always good to uh, make your reservations uh, ahead of time as well. So whether you book with us or uh, you book directly with the cruise line, you're always going to have to do what's called your online check-in directly on the cruise line's website. So as what you'll do is you'll create a login and a password. And through uh, the online check-in, you'll be able to make all your reservations. So you can make the reservations for the shows. You can make reservations for dining. And, you know, it's highly recommended that you do this right away while everything is still open. Now, I'm always able to get into the shows um, without reservations, but you know, you wouldn't want to take that risk. If you can go ahead and just make your reservations ahead of time, you know, that's a lot better. So, and you're going to do that via your online check-in. So this is Boleros. This is the Latin night club. You know, at night, this place will, you know, will really get going. And so, you know, everyone will start crowding around and, and dancing and th there'll be bands playing. So, you know, that, that's a lot of fun. And, uh, so, you know, this whole entire area is the Royal Promenade. This is on air. This is the sports bar. So if you want to come in and, uh, you know, check out a game, you know, for example, if there's a major game that's going to be on, you're not going to miss it on the cruise. Don't you worry about that, sports fans. <laughs> I come into these areas myself all the time and catch the games. And it's a lot of fun because, you know, you make friends with fellow passengers. You know, it's great. It, you know, it's a really it's a really good time. I, I really like watching the sports game on the cruise ships because people are just that much more excited. You know, it's like being in, you know, your favorite sports bar. So uh, straight ahead here is uh, Sorrento's. This is the pizza place. Uh, the pizza is awesome and is what I always like about Sorrento's is that they make it quickly. Even if you see a line on the first day of the cruise, it goes fast and I've always appreciated that. So right here is uh, Boot and Bonnet. This is an English pub. So hey, if you want to come in and get yourself a pint of Guinness, this is the perfect place. You know, there'll also be a singer that comes in at night that will, uh, you know, sing some really nice relaxing tunes, you know, while you're sipping on that pint of Guinness. <laughs> and uh, they do have the DreamWorks experience with all the characters on Royal Caribbean. They're the only ones that have it. So, uh, you know, that's great for the children. And uh, they also have a lot of parties like, a, not, like the 80s party and the 90s party. So over here um, is the next cruise. So if you're interested in cruising with Royal Caribbean again, uh, it's always better to book on board because they're just, they give you a lot better deals and you can get reduced deposits. So go to next cruise for that. This is Cafe Promenade and Cafe Promenade is one of my favorite places because they always have sandwiches ready to go and coffee. And you can also grab uh, desserts uh, like, you know, cookies and uh, brownies and things like that. But uh, I always like to drop in and grab myself a sandwich on my way to port, you know. And uh, here is Rising Tide Bar. Across the way over here is guest services. So if you have um, any questions about anything, this is where you're going to come to do that. And you'll see it's a friendly staff. Hey, they're, they're here waiting for you to answer any of your questions. And so um, we're going to take a look at Rising Tide Bar in a minute because Rising Tide Bar actually goes up to Central Park. And as soon as it does, we're going to ride up uh, Rising Tide Bar and then we're going to take a tour of Central Park. So right here is the Bionic Bar. So is what you do here is you come to the air waiting area here where they have the uh, sofa and they have iPads and you order your drink via iPad. So up there you can see Jason's drink. It's making my drink right now. And you'll see that it shakes it pretty well. Watch this, watch how it shakes. Here we go, and boom, 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 boom. Now, I was on an inaugural cruise, so all our drinks were free. And I didn't realize it, but I had ordered a double. <laughs> you know, there's no prices, so you don't realize it, you know? But, uh, you know, hey, I was working hard. I was filming all day. I was pretty happy to get a double. <laughs> 
And then you see there that I had to actually swipe my card to be able to retrieve the drink. So that's how you truly know that it's your drink. So we're going to come up here and check out Rising Tide Bar. So Rising Tide Bar goes all the way up to Central Park. So if you want to relax and sit down in Rising Tide Bar, it's going to take you all the way up to Central Park. So this is what I like to do is while we're here in Central Park, let's go ahead and take a tour. Central Park is amazing. If you look up, you'll see the balcony cabins that we saw before. Right here is the Rising Tide Bar, so you exit through those doors. The first venue that we're going to come across is Chops Grill. This is a steakhouse. This is part of the specialty dining. So they do have specialty and complimentary dining on the Harmony of the Seas. So specialty is an additional cost, and complimentary is obviously included in your cruise fare. So like, for example, the buffets included that we saw before, the mini bites buffet over by the uh, activities area and uh, the main dining room. Uh, and for example, like Sorrento's pizza, that's also included. Um, Cafe Promenade, that's included. So there's only a few venues where you would actually have to pay an extra fee and they do offer a dining package for that. So um, after you book, you can take a look at that when you do your online check-in. So this is Park Cafe. This is also complimentary. I love this place because you can come up and uh, make your own salad and uh, grab some soup. So it's a great place to come and grab a snack. And if you'll see, uh, I'm wearing the same clothes that I was wearing when I was in the buffet area. So this is still the first day. So, uh, you know, I didn't waste any time and, and I got a little bit of food everywhere that first day. <laughs> oh yeah, and my wife, she also wanted me to tell you that this is her favorite place on the ship. <laughs> As we're walking through Central Park, take note of the balcony cabins again, as I was talking about before. It's very important uh, because it reminds me of a lady that called me a little while back. She was calling us to transfer her reservations over to us for the discount. And as we were doing some research into her bookings, we realized that she had no idea she was in Central Park balcony cabins. She thought that she had booked Ocean View. So we went ahead and helped her out with that. And the great thing about it was, was that we were actually able to transfer into one of our existing groups. You see, because we're such a big cruise agency, we actually open up our own groups on these cruise ships. And a lot of times we're able to transfer you into those groups. So when this is the case, not only are we able to give you great perks like onboard credit and huge discounts, but you know, we were also able to help her out and get her into the right cabin. But either way, whether we get you into one of our groups or not, you're always gonna get one of those exclusive agency discounts. So you know, definitely make sure that you give us a call right away, especially on this ship, because it is a new ship, Harmony of the Seas, and you know, there's a lot of demand for the ship. So you know, the cabins are booking up pretty quickly. So as soon as you can, give us a call. Oh yeah, and one of the best things about booking in advance is that as soon as you put the deposit down, your booking's locked in. So if the prices go up, you don't have to pay the higher price. But if the prices go down, guess what? We can get you the better price. And we monitor those rates. So if your price goes down, we're gonna get you the better rate. So by booking with us, not only do you get an exclusive agency discount, but we're gonna monitor those rates regularly. Our software monitors them at least once a day. And if they go down, we're gonna get you the lower rate. So it's very, very beneficial that you give us a call. <laughs> because through this method, you could save thousands of dollars. Okay, so we're gonna check out Focus. This is where you come to check out the photos that the ship's photographer has taken of you throughout the cruise. So all you have to do is walk up to one of the computers, uh, put in your key cards and they have facial recognition. So they're going to figure out which photos are yours <laughs> Over here is schooner bar a schooner bar is a wonderful place to come and grab a seat Over on the side where you can check out people on the Royal Promenade And it's also great because you can watch the parades and the shows like the 80 show and the 90 show that we were talking about before and you can also sit back and watch rising tide bar go up to central park okay let's go ahead and check out the boardwalk and before we do i just want to let you know that i am going to place a link down below the description of the video 
that has all the dining venues and their descriptions and it'll also let you know whether it's complimentary or specialty. So the first venue we're gonna come across is Dog House. This place is great because it has a lot of different types of hot dogs, not just one type. So you can come on over here and take your pick. <laughs> and right behind us is the carousel. So uh, family, come on over and grab your pitcher and put the kids on for a nice horsey ride. Oh, also, and I wanted to mention about the link that I'm going to place below is that within that link, there are going to be other tabs that will explain a lot about the ship. Uh, for example, entertainments, cabin types, those type of things. So make sure you click on that link. Um, also, um, I'm going to place, you know, current sailings of this ship down below that link. So make sure you click on that if you want to see the upcoming sailings. Also, if you are not ready to book at the moment, make sure you sign up on our list and we will send you discounted sailings via email. That's a great tool, especially if you're not ready to book yet and you're trying to plan way in the future and looking for a great deal. So this is Sabor. This is the Mexican restaurant. So you can come on in here and grab yourself a nice plate of Mexican food. And right across the way here is one of my favorite venues, which is Johnny Rockets. They have excellent hamburgers. If you read any of the reviews on Johnny Rockets, pretty much you're gonna get you know the full amount of stars for who's ever rating it because the hamburgers are just excellent. And you know I really like the uh, old style type of diner that you know you can come in and just grab yourself a a burger and, and feel like you're just living in the past. <laughs> so over here is where a lot of people will get a drink before they go to the Aqua Show. A great recommendation is that if you want to get yourself a drink before you go to the Aqua Show, get it at Schooner Bar because there there's not going to be as much of a line. Great little tip for you. Once you get to this area, everyone's going to that same bar, so you know it, it might take a little while. So the show was excellent. There was this guy who twirled around about a thousand times in the very beginning of the show. Everyone just sat in awe as this guy just kept spinning and spinning and spinning and didn't get dizzy. <laughs> hey, I'm Jason Newquist with CruisesIt.com. To get the best rate guaranteed in the industry, give me a call. My number is down below or you can check out our website link down below and go to CruisesIt.com.